Yeah, that's an exciting move. Mm -hmm. I, I think we've seen an original move here. 충분히 열파고도 창의적이다. 아, 정말 아름답고 음, 바둑에 그런 아름다움을 잘 표현한 수고 굉장히 창의적이었었다. They said all this to go what Roger Federer is to tennis. Huge shock. Headlines around the world. 60 million people watch the game in China alone. For us, it's the culmination of a 20-year dream. Well, that was a huge moment. Well, OK, we've beaten the, uh, the world champion. How can we go further? I mean, what can we learn from that? There are so many possible application domains where creativity in a different dimension to what humans could do could be immensely valuable to us. There's been a big chain of events that followed on from all of the excitement of AlphaGo. <laughs> when we played against Lisa Doll, we actually had a system that had been trained on, on human data, on all of the millions of games that had been played by human experts. We eventually found a, a new algorithm, a much more elegant approach to the whole system, which actually stripped out all of the human knowledge and just started completely from scratch. Instead of learning from human data, it learned from its own games, and that became a project which we called Alpha Zero. Zero meaning having zero human knowledge in the loop. Alpha Zero is a kind of experiment in how little knowledge can we put into these systems, and how quickly and how efficiently can they learn. The next stage was to make it more general, so that it could play any two-player game, not just Go, but things like chess and shogi, which is Japanese chess, and in fact, any kind of two-player perfect information game. What we discovered was that actually, this exceeded all of our expectations. Alpha Zero could start in the morning playing completely randomly, and then by tea, it would be superhuman level. By dinner, it would be the strongest chess entity there's ever been. After about eight or nine hours, it was strong enough to be able to go out and defeat Stockfish, the incumbent world champion, a program which was vastly stronger than Deep Blue, the program which had previously defeated Kasparov. So I called up my longtime friend Matthew Sadler and Natasha Reagan, my two friends from when I used to play chess myself. So I knew that they would be very excited to come in and have a look at the system. And it did cause a big stir, actually, amongst the chess players. When I first started looking through the games, I started thinking, oh, it's quite interesting, quite interesting. And there's just a couple of games that went bang. These were very exciting games, very attacking games. I could see that Alpha Zero was trying something different. It's like this young kid from deepest Russia is sort of arriving and then suddenly beating everyone. It doesn't have an engine-like style. It plays like a, a human on fire. It can really try and evaluate things contextually in the moment. You know, right now, in this particular position, how valuable is my knight? Traditional chess engines like Stockfish basically consist of a huge database of rules. Alpha Zero doesn't have any rules. It learns through experience. And what I found so interesting was because it had taught itself, it might play the game in a completely different way from the way that we play it. It's like a check on everything that we've taught ourselves as humans since chess was devised, really. And it feels like it's got a lot of potential to do other things. <laughs> the next step is actually to see if we can go further. You know, we, we're trying to build general algorithms, not just to play chess, not just to play Go. The world's a messy place, and no one can exactly write down the rules by which it operates. We can work with energy systems in the real world, with healthcare systems in the real world. Where we'd like to go with this is to push on to new domains that no one's cracked, and actually use this approach to solve those. So I'm hoping in future that we and others will use Alpha Zero like techniques to help us make faster breakthroughs that I think society desperately needs.